We are exposed to data every day, for example, in news stories, weather reports, and advertising. But how do we know whether these data are of good quality? In this video, you will be introduced to the fundamentals of data quality, which can be summed up in six dimensions, or six different ways to think about quality. You will also learn how each dimension can be used to evaluate the quality of data. By the end of this video, you will learn about basic quality concepts, data quality expressed as six dimensions, and the interactions between these dimensions. This video is intended for learners who want to acquire a basic understanding of data quality. No previous knowledge is required. This diagram is a visual representation of the data journey, from collecting the data, to cleaning, exploring, describing, and understanding the data, to analyzing the data, and lastly, to communicating with others the story the data tell. You will notice that data quality does not fall under one specific step in the process. It is instead something that is important throughout the entire data journey. The six dimensions of data quality are relevance, accuracy, timeliness, interpretability, coherence, accessibility. Each dimension will be examined separately over the next few slides. The relevance of data, or statistical information, reflects the degree to which it meets the needs of data users and stakeholders. To test a data product for relevance, you should ask yourself, does this information matter? At Statistics Canada, it is our responsibility to provide Canadians with information that matters. In other words, is it useful in building policy? Does it aid in long-term planning? Does it fill an existing data gap? Can it promote new initiatives that would benefit Canadians? Does it help improve services? What questions would you ask to test the relevance of your data? Accurate data give a true reflection of reality. Ask yourself if what is being measured is in line with what is actually true. Timeliness is the delay between the time when the data are meaningful and when they are available. For example, school bus authorities need up-to-date weather forecasts very early in the morning to make good decisions about whether to cancel school buses. Likewise, parents need to know about school bus cancellations before they head to work. Timeliness is closely related to accuracy and relevance. Information people can't understand, or can easily misunderstand, has no value and could even be misleading. To avoid such misunderstandings, supplementary information or documentation, called metadata, should always be provided with any data set, as it allows users to interpret the data properly. Coherence can be split into two concepts, consistency and commonality. Consistency means using the same concepts definitions, and methods over time. Commonality means using the same or similar concepts, definitions, and methods across different statistical programs. If there is good consistency and good commonality, then it is easier to compare results from different studies or track how they stay the same or change over time. With regards to data quality, coherence is the ability to make comparisons across cities, regions, time periods, etc. The final dimension of quality is accessibility, which means that people are aware of and have access to the data. When determining whether data are accessible, make sure they are organized, a system or a catalog is in place to allow the users to locate all available data, available, once the location of a data source has been determined, a consistent means of accessing these data must also be provided, Accountable, a data producer must be accountable for assisting users experiencing difficulty or dissatisfaction with any aspect of data access. Affordable, what good are the most reliable data if you can't afford to use them? Imagine that you own a pizza shop and you are considering expanding your business by opening a second location in the Toronto area. What kind of data could help you make your decision and where might you find such information? Opening a second location in Toronto would require social and economic data about the city. 
including neighborhood profiles, business expansion and location assistance, employee data and household spending habits, grants, incentives, and rebates, festivals, events, parks, and beaches, municipal development plans. Being able to access reliable data helps inform your decision of whether to open a second location and to assess its potential growth over time. Ideally, this information would be well organized and readily available at little to no cost from reliable open data sources, such as the federal government's open data site, the City of Toronto's open data portal, the Ontario Ministry of Finance, and newspapers. What makes these sites so accessible? They have many features, including open by default, menu driven, apps gallery, open government licenses, open data inventory, application programming interface, API, and content in both official languages, federal and provincial sites. Accurate data allow you to make precise calculations about your expected costs and earnings, as well as about the potential success of any new restaurant operation. The success of your new restaurant operation will depend on you preparing accurate financial projections based on solid research, planning, and good quality data. Data tend to be of greater value when they are released at a consistent, favorable, or useful time. The release of projected population data by region gives restaurateurs a sense of which areas are likely to experience population growth. There are several ways in which these open data sites make it easier to understand and interpret their data. They apply a structured standardized format or user-friendly interfaces. They provide the user with a consistent way to access, view, and understand the data. They incorporate a variety of data into a single visualization tool to make them easy to interpret. Documentation and supplementary information are readily available to help provide context around the data sets. Notes, footnotes, and sources appear within the table. The site makes use of data visualization tools, tables, infographics, charts, which make it easier to interpret the data. Comparative measures of employment rates, income levels, and education are important indicators of economic outlook and the potential success of any new restaurant operation. The City of Toronto's Open Data Portal has predefined views with built-in coherence analysis. Each view allows the user to compare the data for each ward with those for the entire city, as well as those for other wards, in a single visualization tool. Data can be a very powerful decision-making tool but when used improperly, they can be misleading. By applying the six dimensions of quality, you can choose a high quality data source that's right for your needs. An acceptable level of quality can be achieved by ensuring that there is a good balance among all six dimensions, relevance, accuracy, timeliness, interpretability, coherence, and accessibility.